Welcome everyone, Anka Novakovic here with EcoCoach. And today is actually my first Facebook Live ever, so bear with me, I'm really excited to be here and I can't wait to share all this awesome information with you around sustainability. But um, yeah, so I'm, um, I'm a newbie. But I'm gonna keep this first Facebook Live pretty short and sweet. And what I wanted to focus on is a question that I get a lot of from various individuals, even with clients that I work with um, at speaking events or just with folks that I mentor. So the question is really, how do you go about implementing sustainability at your organization, even though you're not in charge, right? So you're excited about sustainability. Um, you're passionate about it, you um, may want to change the world, you may also be uh, just starting out, right, or, um, either right out of college or you may be in a position where you're not making the decisions as to what direction the company is going in. And uh, that's okay. Um, it's It shouldn't be an intimidating thing, right? So one of the things that I wanted to touch on, I'm just going to touch on three tips for today, but one of the things that I wanted to touch on is um, the mindset, right? Um, being confident, um, sharing your excitement and your passion with other folks um, so that you can get them on board, right? Uh, you, you have this idea in your head and you're really excited about it and other folks may not know why sustainability is so great. So this is, um, you know, this is where passion is contagious. And so not only do you have to tell them, make the business case and what have you, which we'll get into in a few minutes, but um, sharing that excitement, you know, and being confident and knowing that this is something that's gonna help your organization, because you know what? It is gonna help your organization. It's gonna help your organization make money, get new customers, reduce risk. There's a lot of things that sustainability does. And so don't think of yourself as just, you know, a, a tree hugger or, you know, oh, here I am, I'm fresh out of school, so maybe no one's gonna listen to me. You can make a difference. And that's one of the things that I uh, tell everyone that I talk to is, that, you know, go ahead, share your excitement, share your passion, because if you share that passion, it's really contagious. And so when it's really contagious, then people are gonna be excited about it and people are also gonna to wanna to take advantage of it. Um, so again, welcome, welcome Daniel. And uh, we're right now we're talking about how to implement sustainability at your organization. And the first thing that I had shared is really the mindset, is that if you're really excited about sustainability, you're gonna have other folks who are gonna be excited about sustainability. Um, you shouldn't be tentative. I would absolutely encourage you to share that excitement um, at the appropriate time, of course. You don't wanna do it in the middle of a meeting that has nothing to do with sustainability, but one of the things that you wanna do is find out other people who are excited about it. You know, there might be other people in the organization who are just really shy and who maybe don't feel like it's their place to talk about sustainability. And so go ahead, reach out to people and um, you know, share what you wanna do, share your vision, you know? Even, like I said, even if you feel like, hey, I'm not the person who's gonna be making the decision around sustainability, you can still go ahead and make that passion be contagious, right? So that's really the first thing that I wanted to share. So um, if you're just joining, I'm really sharing three tips and focusing on three tips as to how to implement sustainability at your organization if you're not in charge. And it's okay, again, if you're not in charge, we just wanna make sure that uh, you keep that, you know, um, that enthusiasm going because it's something that's so important, I think, right? And uh, thanks, Daniel. Yes, I will definitely check in that. I know the, the World Bank is involved in sustainability. I gotta tell you, way back when I actually used to work at the World Bank, when they started to um, focus on sustainability, and this is eons ago, so I'm not gonna date myself, but it's, it's really excited and I would love to, to work with them and um, you know help promote sustainability there. Thanks for that. Uh, 
And the second thing is alignment, right? How are you aligned? Um, how is sustainability aligned with the pain points in your organization? So what you want to find out is what are the pain points in your organization um, at the higher level? So for example, if you're a retail organization, right? And um, your sales are going down you have you're part of that you're hearing management talk about how sales are going down how um, they're not sure what they're gonna do next quarter you know what promotions they should have and what have you okay so now think about how does sustainability fit into that um, how can you help and how can you position sustainability in a way that it can help your organization grow sales right so an example right there, and this is kind of a, an, an easy example, is you have a, a lot of customers who really care about sustainability and who would rather spend extra money on an organization or who would rather spend their dollars with an organization that is uh, taking steps around sustainability and cares about sustainability. So, uh, you know, sharing that information and then figuring out how sustainability is aligned to your organization's pain points and how it can solve those pain points is really important. So the first thing that you've done is kind of had the mindset, you wanna be confident, you wanna share your excitement, you wanna get other people on board because if you share your excitement, you have other people who are gonna join essentially your, your posse or your tribe and it's gonna be easier to get the message out. The second thing that you're doing is alignment, right? Looking at what are the pain points of your organization and how is sustainability aligned with that? And then the third thing that I would recommend that you kind of look at is, uh, you know, just get started. It's, it's an easy thing to say, but what you want to do is think about what are some a small step that you can take that can move your organization forward around sustainability. It doesn't have to be a huge step, right? So one of the things that I've done is on the EcoCoach site, eco-coach.com, there's right when you get on there, there's a sustainability checklist that you can download, it's free, where you basically can look through and get some ideas of actions that your organization can take. And um, at the same time, what you can do is go through the checklist and figure out what you're already doing because there may be some things that you're doing so you don't wanna recreate the wheel. So think about that when you're doing it. And um, you know that will give you some ideas. Now the checklist is uh, pretty high level and it works for organizations that have a lease building and that, or that own their building. So you can do it either way and it should work. But again, getting started, getting started with anything is the first step, like figuring out what your project is. It can be tough sometimes, so use that sustainability checklist. Again, it's a free tool. And uh, once you've done that, then you can figure out, okay, who do I talk to who's also as excited as I am? And how can we make this happen, even though we're not in charge? And of course, you know, you want to talk about later on, you know, in another uh, Facebook Live, since I'm hoping to make these pretty regular, I'm going to talk about how to make the business case and um, what are the things that you need to do in order to make the business case so that when you are speaking with someone who is quote unquote in charge, right, who can make the decision as to whether to implement a sustainability project that's larger, <laughs> Um, that can uh, help kind of put you over the edge, so to speak, and uh, give, give more credence to what you're doing. Um, so making the business case is something that's really important. But again, you know, it, when you're starting and uh, when you're not in charge, I would say get started with something that's really simple. So you can just have, a, let's say, a basic conversation with IT as an example about potentially programming the printers to be double-sided, right? Uh, it's, it's not a big thing, but if it's something that's really easy to do and it's not something that people are gonna object to, what you can do is do it and then start tracking the potential savings of what you're doing. And once you start tracking the savings, then you know what, you're gonna be building and getting data for your business case. 
So that's all for now. Again, thanks a lot for checking in. I'm really excited to do my first Facebook Live and I'd love to hear how this goes and if you have other ideas or things that have worked. I'm gonna be adding more content as to kind of how to implement sustainability when you're not in charge. But again, this is, this is my first foray into this. So I wanted to uh, say hello and keep it short and sweet and uh, have a great and sustainable day. But uh, here's to your sustainability success. Again, like I said, be sure to check out the sustainability checklist, uh, checklist on the EcoCoach page. So it's eco-coach.com. So if you are just tuning in right now, basically think about three things um, as a wrap up. You want to think about your mindset, being confident and excited and keep that excitement going and share it with other folks. You also want, because then you're gonna get other people on board and you're gonna get other people who are gonna wanna take action with you. You are going to want to look at alignment. So look at the pain points of your organization, look at what they're focusing on um, or what you're focusing on and um, the things that they're focusing on that they need to grow in and see how sustainability can be aligned, how a sustainability project can be aligned with that and then get started. Figure out a small project that's not necessarily something that requires um, someone else's uh, sign off and once you do that and once you get started you can gain momentum you can make a business case and that's that's how it gets going all right well it was great thank you for tuning in and uh, again check out the sustainability checklist and download that that's going to help you get it give you an idea of some action steps that you can take and it will also help you go through and figure out where you stand in terms of sustainability at your organization have a great one take care